The first type of sequence we're going to be going over is arithmetic sequences. Arithmetic sequences are the most basic type of sequences. It's literally when you go up by a constant number or go down by a constant number. So this is always a plus two when we go up. So five, seven, nine, eleven, we're going up in twos. So we know this is an arithmetic sequence. The nth term of arithmetic sequence is this right hand side where a is the first number of the sequence. N is sort of your term, your nth, the term you want to plug in. And D is the difference. Okay, so let's see what, what these mean. So my nth term for this sequence above would be equal to, the first number is 5. So I'll say this is 5 plus, and then you literally just write N minus 1. And then you times it by the common difference, which we found out was 2. Okay, so this is our nth term. So what was the point of nth term? We might, uh, you know, we might want to work out what, what was the hundredth term, right? We haven't got time to sort of write out all the numbers. So the hundredth term, we'll just plug in n equals 100. So you get 5 plus 100 minus 1 times 2. And then you just simplify that. 5 plus 99 times 2. Okay, you can use a calculator or you can use mental maths to work out what that would be. So these are this is this is the sort of basis of arithmetic sequences. Of course, they might give you a sort of harder question like this. So they might say this is a, an arithmetic sequence, and they say, Can you work out what k is? So remember, arithmetic sequences they always go up in like constant numbers. Okay. And it's always the same number. It doesn't change. Otherwise, it wouldn't be an arithmetic sequence. So for this question, let's work out what is that sort of common difference. Now, this common difference, this plus something, right? Is this, is this take away that? Okay. Just like if we went from 6 to 24, you know, what, what was that plus something? That plus something was this take away that. 24 take away 6 which was which is just 18 right so plus an 18 each time so just like we just like that well what would this difference be it would be we do the second one take away that k squared take away minus 8 which is just k squared plus 8 okay so what's happening we're doing k squared k squared plus 8 each time of course they wrote something else here right so what is this version? This is 17k minus k squared. Of course, these two things, if this is an arithmetic sequences, these two things should be the same thing. So basically, we can make an equation out of that. We can say k squared plus 8 is the same thing as 17k minus k squared. And then it's basically very easy to solve. You just have to find out k. Now it looks like a quadratic, so bring all the case, bring everything to one side. So plus k squared both sides, 2k squared. Even bring the 17k over by minusing 17k to both sides. And I'll end up with this. Then you can use your calculator or your, you know, uh, factor. If this can factorize, you can do that as well. Solve this. I believe this does factorize, and it will factorize into. Um, this if i'm not mistaken so that means k is either 1 over 2 or k is equal to 8 okay so we've got two possible values of k so that is the general gist of arithmetic sequences we've also got arithmetic series so basically it's the same sort of uh, type of sequence but now we're looking at the series which basically means when you add up a certain amount of numbers, okay? So the formula for this is the following. The sum of the first n numbers is the amount of numbers you want to add up divided by two times by two times the first number plus the amount of numbers you want to add together minus one then times by the difference. Okay, so let's just quickly see what, is this, what does this big formula mean. Say I wanted to work out the first 
to sum of the first 100 numbers. Okay, I want to add all the 100 numbers together. So this would be equal to 100 over 2, right? 100 over 2 times by 2 times the A. A remember, A is the first number, so that would be a 5 in our case. 2, two times 5 plus we've got n minus 1, which is 100 minus 1, so 99, then times by d. And remember, we established that d is just times 2. Okay, and then literally just plug that into your calculator, and you will get the answer to the first 100 numbers added together. Okay, and that is the basic formula for it. Um, they do give you another formula that you can use. So this formula is a bit simpler. It's basically saying that you can do however many numbers you want to add together divided by 2 plus, sorry, times the first number plus the final number. Right? So what does that mean? Basically, it means um, if I wanted to add up, same question, if I wanted to add up the first hundred numbers right to use this formula i need the first number which would be five but i also need that hundredth number okay i would also need that hundredth number then i could just plug it into the equation okay so let's look at a um actual question on this okay the type of question will be they give you two terms they say the fifth term is this and the tenth term is that and then they also give you the sum of the first n terms. And then something weird happens, it says show this inequality. Okay, f first thing I would try to do is, uh, let's maybe try something, right? Let's make a, some equations. So they say the fifth term is 33. So that means u5 is 33. And what was the formula for the nth term of a sequence? Remember it is a, plus n minus 1 d okay so 3 is equal to this why is it equal to sorry not uh, 3 is 33 the fifth term is equal to 33 so basically when n equals 5 so instead of n i could i could have written 5 so then if i simplify this i've got 33 equals a plus 4 d right um they also say the tenth term is that, so I could even, I could even make a new equation with that. So u10 is equal to 68, which is basically saying a plus 10 minus 1d, which is just a plus 9d. So here I've got two simultaneous equations, which I can solve now. Okay. And if I do manage to try and solve this, I could just take the two equations away from each other straight away. I might do this one, take away that one. And I would end up with 35 equals 5D. So D equals 8. Uh, sorry, not 8. D is going to equal 7. And now if D equals 7, you can plug that into any of the two equations to work out A. So if I plug this into the first equation, We'll get 33 equals a plus 4 times 7. So 33 equals a plus 28. So a equals 5. So from the first two equations, we actually managed to work out that a is 5 and d is 7. Okay, so that's that's quite uh, good. That's quite good so far. Now what can we do with this information? They then said the sum of the first n terms is this. So the sum of the first n terms is 2, 2, 2, 5. And what was the formula for Sn? The formula was two, uh, n over 2 times by 2a plus n minus 1d. So really and truly what it looks like is going to happen is we just need to plug in a and d okay you just plug in a and d into this so we get 225 equals n over 2 
times 2 times 5 now, plus n minus 1 times 7. Now, if you keep expanding everything and simplifying everything, it look, basically what's going to happen is, is you can simplify into that eventually. Okay, so that's the harder type of questions we're going to have for arithmetic series. Let's go on to the next type of series, geometric sequences. Sorry, okay, let's go to the next type of sequence. Geometric sequences is a bit different to arithmetic. Geometric is when we kind of can't, we, we can see there's a pattern like this, right? Plus 6 plus 12. But a better pattern is that this is actually doubling every time. So geometric sequences is when you times by something each time to get to the new number. Okay, you times by a common number. Now we call this timesing thing, we call that number the common ratio or just the ratio basically. Okay, R. We call that that multiplier, we call it R. Um, A again is the first number. Okay, so the nth term for this geometric sequence would be 6 times and the ratio was 2, and then to pub n minus 1. So again, if I wanted to work out the 10th term, right, of this sequence, I would literally just plug in n equals 10 into the nth term, and I'll get 6 times 2 to the power of 10 minus 1, which is 6 times 2 to the power of 9, and then you can plug that in your calculator, and that would be your 10th term. Now, a typical type of question might look like this. It says, gives you three terms of a geometric sequence, then it randomly says, can you show this? So we have to sort of be a bit creative here, right? How could we possibly show this random equation? Let me try to construct some equation from this information. I know that the ratio is this divided by this. How do I know that? Imagine I had this sequence. How do I know that this is possibly times it by three each time? Because basically nine divided by three is the ratio. So we, we, we times by three every time. Okay, it would have been the same thing if I'd done 27 divided by nine. You would have got three again. Okay, that's why, why we can say we're times by three every time. So just like that, basically what are we times in by? We times in by 2x over 8 minus x. Technically, right? And we could also say we're times in by x squared over 2x. Okay, just divided by that. Now, if this really is a geometric sequence, that means 2x over 8 minus x is equal to x squared over 2x. Okay, and from here, literally, you just have to do some algebra and you should end up with this equation. Okay, and I can let you try that. First thing I would do maybe is just simplify this. That would turn to the x over 2, for example, and then cross multiply. Okay, and then eventually it will look like this. And finally, we will just go over geometric series. Geometric series again is based on geometric sequences. So when you when you times to get to the next number, and what they say is the formula for the sum of the m terms is this new formula. So basically, if you wanted to work out the first, you know, hundred, um, hundred numbers, okay, you would need to use this formula for geometric sequences where a is the first number, so that would be 6 in this case, and then r is the common ratio, which would just be 2 in this case, because we're just times it by 2, and then n, you just leave it as n. Okay, so for this equation, for this uh, sequence, sorry, the geometric series formula would be literally just this. Okay, so if I wanted to work out the first 100 numbers, I would just plug in n equals hundred into there. Now you've also got this formula as well. To be honest, they're actually the same formula, 
all that happened is we just times the top and bottom by minus one and then it turned into that so basically we didn't it's actually the same formula and the only time you use this formula is basically when the ratio is less than one so say you got a ratio like this for example right so you got a ratio like six three then 1.5 right you're actually times in by half each time so when your r is less than one normally you would use that formula but to be honest if you really want to just memorize one of them it doesn't actually matter too much now a typical question might be like this can you work out the sum of these first something numbers okay they didn't even tell you you know they didn't tell you which nth term this is they didn't say if it was the hundredth or something like that so okay what is the sn formula what's the sum of the first n numbers it is the first number times r to the power of n minus one all over r minus one so we need to work out a r and n okay we need to work out those three things okay luckily a is very easy minus five over two r how do we work out r just do one number divided by the previous number so five over four divided by minus five over two same thing as flip it right so then that'll turn into 10 over minus 20 which is actually just minus one over two okay so the ratio is minus one over two and what do we do to the r we do it to the power of n and then we minus one from it okay all over and then what was it minus one over two minus one so this is our you know our sn formula so far the only problem is we don't actually know what n is we don't actually know which which number was it was it the hundredth number or like what was that end number so for that what i would actually do is i'll do a bit extra working out the extra bit of working out i'll do is i would fill in the un formula for geometric series uh, geometric sequences which is just a times r to power of n minus one and if we filled it in for this we would just get this okay then i would make this nth term i would make it equal this this equals minus five over three two seven six eight then i would work out what is n okay now you should be able to do that using as methods right divide both sides by minus five over two you'll end up with this by itself equals and then you do you know you do that divided by that and if you do that you should end up with this okay which can simplify or you can just leave that then what happens is you need to get you know we need to get n by itself so what can we do you can you know log this basically right you can log that and then you'll get basically n by itself You're using some sort of there's a bit more to it but basically you get n by itself n equals a number and then why did we do that because now we can plug in n is and then we would plug into there plug that all into your calculator and then that would basically give you the sum of all of these added together and there we have it i hope you found that video useful support us by liking subscribing and share this with your friends and if you still got some more questions on anything drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where you'll find your questions answered.